Today we're Spears and Gear, we check out the Triumph Mark III from Hughes and Kettner. The Hughes and Kettner Triumph has been a sort of unicorn for me over the years. Upon first hearing this all the way back in, I think it must have been 2006, on the first full length sales and album, I have always wanted to plug into one of these and check one out. And I have been able to do that thanks to the lovely folks at Hughes and Kettner who first contacted me right before NAMM 2017. I stopped by the booth. They let me crank it up and play through the amp all I wanted and it was awesome. It's a great experience. Great bunch of people working over there. And uh, I sweet talked my way into letting them, uh, letting them send me a a triamp uh, for you guys to hear. I'm super, super stoked to see what you guys think of this amp. This amp is really unique. The voicing of the Hughes and Kettner stuff is particularly unique. And this being the flagship, it is no exception. It's kind of a, a mix between the British flavor and the American flavor. There's flavors of both into its own unique package. You will especially find the mid range to be much more upfront than than other high gain amps. It's, it's really a unique feeling kind of amp and it has just about everything for everyone. So first let's get to the tune. Uh, we did some, some heavy tunes. I used uh, channel 3A for the main heavy rhythm with the built-in boost. There was no overdrive used on any of these tracks. Um, I used the built-in noise gate uh, with the amp and everything. So all the silences that you hear in between the percussive verse sections of the song are all just the noise gate of the amp. There was no post-production done as far as noise uh, noise or anything like that. So what you're hearing is what is coming out of the amp. The cabinet I am plugged into is a 412 cabinet loaded with Celestian Greenbacks. I'm using a Shure SM57 and an Audix i5 in unison on two different speakers, both of them Greenbacks, but they're on different respective speakers and straight into my Stam Audio 1073 MPA preamp. Let's get to the tune.
playthrough, I chose to just reamp the bridge pickup of the Fishman Devon Townsend pickups into the amplifier while going through each channel. This is because there will be future videos and I will do a more extensive in-depth series focusing on each channel and it will be there that I use, you know, single coils and different kinds of guitars. I plan to uh, make a dedicated video per channel and kind of use multiple guitars for each video. So don't get upset with me if I, if I didn't use a ton of guitars through the playthrough. I didn't want the video to be like 25 minutes long. I wanted to keep it somewhat short, 10 minutes or so. So there will be future videos, but for now, for this video, it is the bridge pickup of the Devon Townsend Fishman right into the amp. Here we go. Nowadays, I often see complaints about high dollar amps not offering very much value for that dollar. And I think an exception is the Tri-Amp. There are so many features on the Tri-Amp. It is really, I, I, I think it's worth the money myself. Now, this is not for you bedroom players. There is an entire line of amplifiers that Hughes & Kenner makes for you bedroom guys or you your weekend gig guys, the Grandmeister and Tubemeister uh, series of amplifiers are meant to deal with the more inexpensive versions of the Triumph. The Triumph is the top of the Hughes and Kettner mountain. So I realize this will not be for everyone, but if you are looking for monstrous tone, power tube selection, built-in noise gate, full MIDI capability, and a simulated cab direct out, definitely take a look at the Tri-Amp. This is an amazing amplifier and it really offers a unique 
set of tones that you can't typically get with your, you know, your Mesas and your Fenders and your Marshalls. This is something that kind of combines the best of all of those into one nice, neat, and beautiful looking package. All the pickable links down below. You have been wonderful. I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.